My name is Tenzin Sri. Uh, the name of my restaurant is Pundo Tibetan Restaurant, which is situated at Sunnyside. Yeah, we have lots of restaurants in uh, uh, Queens, but my main aim is a healthy food, to make people healthy. A healthy means all happy. So I have learned a culinary art, not only a culinary art, I have learned about dietitians, about nutrition, uh, about Ayurveda. So with that knowledge, I know what are the basic nutrient uh, ingredients we need for a human being. And regarding that, I open here in Queens. Yeah, we, I do cook a lot of vegetarian food because I was interested in vegetarian food. It is challenging for me uh, to bring a vegetarian food in non-vegetarian areas. Uh, a really big challenge for me to compete with those uh, non-vegetarian foods. And I take every step as a challenge for myself. People think that if you take meats, you get lots of nutrient foods, uh, ingredients, nutrient ingredients. But that's wrong. Whatever the, uh, in meat you get, you get in vegetarians. But the thing is that people don't know about that. People don't know how the nutrient values of the vegetables. So there should be someone who, who to explain to people about the nutritive values of the vegetable foods. Then and there, they, people will know and they will come to be a vegetarian. Before I learned all those nutritive values, I was just a cook. So whatever was taught to me, I was cooking. I didn't know how to preserve the nutritive values. And after that, when I went to institute, I learned everything about those things. Then and there, I know how to preserve the nutritive values. Technique for cooking, preserving the nutritive values is you cook outside, you keep fresh inside. So when you chew it, you get the nutritive values. My dish for today is a Nutrilla. That Nutrilla uh, is a soya Nutrilla, which have lots of protein in it. And people don't consume that because they don't know how to cook it. Uh, the company who has uh, bought it in the market, they brought it as a supplementary for the meat. I want to show the people how to cook the Nutrilla and how to, after cooking it, how you feel it, how you taste it. It's the same as what, uh, what you consume meat. My way of cooking is very simple. I just uh, cook uh, whatever I get from market. And for Nutrilla soy, I make a batter of, of whole white flour, a little bit of corn flour, uh, salt to taste. Just add a simple water, mix the batter, mix with uh, the soaked Nutrilla, and just fry it, mix with uh, whole bell pepper, then serve it. Go for onion, tomato and chili, bell pepper, you add fried Nutella, tomato ketchup, a bit. Then you add a homemade chili piece. Soy sauce. There you go, that's done. Uh, I was actually born up in India. Uh, my parents are there from Tibet. Tibet most in, in the world, Tibet is not known. It's a country which is independent before 59. And after the uh, Chinese captured the Tibet, and it started vanishing. Tibet started vanishing. So uh, His Holiness, wherever he goes, he, he teaches, he speaks about whoever has the knowledge of his own, whether he may be a scientist, whether he may be a carpenter, whether he may be a plumber, or maybe a chef. So regarding your own basic knowledge, you just promote the Tibetan dishes. So I, as, a, as a Tibetan chef, I want to promote Tibetan dish and keeping the name of Tibet alive. A Nutrilla with mixed bell peppers. There's a lot more
vegetarian and vegan Filipinos than you would think. So we've, we've gotten a lot of our customers coming into our restaurant saying, wow, I didn't know that you could make Filipino food vegan or veg vegetarian.